In this video, I want to talk about another one of the gas laws, being Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law states that the volume of a gas is directly related to the number of moles of that gas when we hold pressure and temperature of the gas constant. All right, so the important term here is this direct relationship between volume and number of moles. What does it mean to have a direct relationship? If we increase the number of moles of a gas, then we would expect the volume that that gas occupies to also increase. If we decrease the number of moles, then we would expect the volume of that gas to decrease. This can be shown graphically, graphing volume and number of moles like this. So, if our number of moles increase, our volume should also increase. The formula for Avogadro's law is stated V1 over N1, N being number of moles, is equal to V2 over N2. The 1 and 2 subscripts indicate a gas under condition number 1 and condition number 2. Let's use Avogadro's law, this formula here, to solve this problem. We have a sample of helium gas. And we know that we have 0.75 moles of this gas and it occupies a volume of 1.5 liters. What will the volume be if we increase the number of moles of this helium gas to 1.2 moles? In order to solve for V2, then we need to determine what values, what variables are given to us in the problem. So we are told the number of moles under condition 1 is 0.75 moles. We are also told that V1, the volume of this 0.75 moles, is 1.5 liters. And the problem tells us that we're going to increase the number of moles of gas. So this is going to be N2, our gas under condition number 2, to 1.2 moles. And then the problem asks us to solve for V2. How do we solve for V2? Well, we're going to use this formula for Avogadro's law. What we're going to do is input in our variables V1, 1.5 liters, divided by N1, which is 0.75 moles. This is equal to V2, what we're trying to solve for, divided by N2, which is 1.2 moles. In order to solve for V2, we first need to move our 1.2 moles to the left side of the equal sign so that we have our one variable that we're solving for by itself on one side of the equals sign. In order to do that, we're going to multiply by the inverse, which is 1.2 moles over 1. This allows us to cancel out these values. What we do to one side, we have to do the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to multiply this side by 1.2 moles over 1. So what this tells us is that V2, the variable that we're solving for, is going to be equal to 1.2 moles multiplied by 1.5 liters and then we're going to divide that all by 0 0.75 moles. In order to ensure that we set up our problem correctly, we can determine what units can cancel out. You see here we have moles over moles. Those 
units will cancel out. The only unit that we're left with is liters, and that's what we, sh we expect because volume is measured in liters. So we input this and we solve for V2, which comes out to be 2.4 liters. Now, does this agree with Avogadro's law? Well, Avogadro's law tells us that number of moles and volume have a direct relationship. If we increase the number of moles of our gas, we would expect the volume holding that gas to also increase. And that's exactly what we saw. The volume increased from 1.5 liters to 2.4 liters.